Semiconductor company LAM Research announced a 10 for 1 stock split. The company's stock will begin trading on a split adjusted basis after the market's close on October 2nd. Does that mean investors should buy this stock before October 2nd or after the stock split? I'll answer that question in this video. I'll also elaborate on what a stock split means for investors. What are the implications? Why does it matter or why does it not matter? I'll go through the details in this video. I'll also look at longer term results for LAM research, compare it against its valuation, look at the profit margin, bring it all together to determine if investors should be buying this semiconductor stock. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so every time there's a stock split, I like to go through the evaluation of what it means for investors. What actually happens during the stock split? Well, all that's happening is the company is taking the existing number of shares and multiplying it by 10. So if you had one share, you will now have 10 shares, okay? But what that also does is that reduces the earnings per share. So if before the stock split, you had $10 in earnings per share, after the stock split, you'll only have $1 in earnings per share but you'll have 10 more shares. So in the end, you'll have the same number of earnings per share. Instead of having one share at $10 earnings per share, you'll have 10 shares at $1 earnings per share. So the number of shares outstanding before the split, if there was 100 shares, there will now be 1,000 shares. And the stock price, if it was $50 before the split, it'll be $5 after the split. So it's just a matter of slicing up the company in smaller pieces. That's all that's happening. There's no change in the company's effective profitability. There's no change in the company's revenue. There's no change in the company's attractiveness. All that's happening is you're taking an existing company and you're splitting it in smaller shares. I usually give the example of a pizza. If you take an existing pizza, you can slice it in five slices or 10 slices. In the end, you still have the same amount of pizza. There's no change in the amount of pizza you're getting. There's no change in what you're getting in return. All that's happening is you're getting smaller slices. And so for me, it's a big nothing burger. Now I know there's arguments made that the lower price will encourage more investors to buy. The lower price will make it more attractive for options trading. Okay, I won't argue against that. But at the same time, if there's new buyers that are coming into an investment, then there's going to be old owners of that investment that are going to sell because people like myself that look at valuation holistically, if the valuation increases because of new buyers, we will take profits and sell the stock. And there's many investors that will do that when LAM research splits its shares. That's why a stock split is a nothing burger. So that being said, let's evaluate the company on its own without considering the stock split as a reason to buy or sell, let's just look at the company and determine if this company is worth owning. And then we can make the decision, should we buy it before or after or whether or not that even matters, right? If the stock split doesn't matter, then what does it matter if we buy it before or after the stock split, right? So let's take a closer look. So LAM research saying that the power of AI is yet to be fully realized. Right? The current focus is on training models, and that's driving strong demand for GPUs and high bandwidth memory. But the AI expansion will move into inferencing, and that's anticipated to drive demand in low power DRAM and NAND storage, which will be good news for LAM research. It'll also be good news for Micron technology. Memory is expected to be biased towards technology upgrades, and LAM's sizable installed base in memory positions them to outgrow the entire market. So for now, LAM research hasn't fully realized the benefits of artificial intelligence. It's in a good position to benefit, but it hasn't yet realized those benefits. And so you could see LAM research, the cyclical nature of the business, the ups and downs in the semiconductor industry, it's evident, but 14.91 billion in trailing 12 month revenue in the most recent period, that's roughly 3x where it was in 2015 at close to 5 billion in trailing 12 month revenue. 
So over the cycles, the companies demonstrated excellent revenue growth. And to make that more impressive is it's increasing its operating profit margin simultaneously. It's demonstrating economies and scale. Operating profit margin at 29% in the most recent period was almost double where it was in 2015. So revenue almost tripling, operating profit margin almost doubling. I love to see these metrics in an investment I'm considering. Looking ahead, the analysts on Wall Street that are following Lamb Research stock, they expect it will grow its earnings per share by roughly 11% per year over the next five years. Now, these are conservative estimates, in my opinion, if I was to wager if its earnings per share over the next five years will be over or under 11%, I would take the over on this wager. In fact, if you look at the previous five years, its earnings per share growth came in at 18%, and that was before the elevated level of demand for semiconductor chips as a result of the rising effectiveness of AI. So I would take the over on this 11% over the next five years. Now I can understand why Lamb Research wants to split its stock. It's trading at a $807 price tag, and that might hold some investors back that don't have access to fractional share buying. So what this will do is make the shares accessible to those that cannot afford it because at $807, it might be above their budgets. So that will make the shares more accessible. But that doesn't mean that the stock price is going to increase as a result of that. It's just going to make it more accessible. That means it's going to broaden out the shareholder base. For instance, if previously Lamb Research had 100 shareholders who each owned a variety of number of shares, now they'll have more shareholders. They'll have, let's say, 500 shareholders instead of just 100 shareholders because more people will be able to afford the stock. But that doesn't mean the valuation will improve. That just means a different group of investors will be holding Lamb Research stock. I hope that makes sense because I know there's a lot of misconception out there about what a stock split means and a stock split creates a lot of enthusiasm and it creates a lot of excitement from investors thinking that the stock split is going to mean that the stock price is going to go up. It's not. It's really not. And I showed you the example and I've talked about NVIDIA as a prime example. I made a similar video for NVIDIA when it announced the stock split. And I said, it's no reason to buy NVIDIA stock because of the stock split. Now I said NVIDIA stock is a buy, but not because of the stock split. NVIDIA stock was a buy because it's an excellent business, not because it's splitting its stock. So it did make NVIDIA shares more accessible, but it didn't create an increase in the stock price. In fact, I think NVIDIA stock is flat since the stock split. So it's not going to create the stock split is not going to create a boost in valuation on its own. And I always, always go to great lengths to clarify that example. And I always get pushback from investors in the comments section, arguing against that proposition, saying that no, that the ability to trade it in options market is going to create an increase in the price or a lower price is going to create an increase in the stock price. Those are not true. There's no fundamental reason why a lower price is going to make the stock valuation increase. Valuation and price are two different things. So the price is $807 per share, but the valuation Lamb Research is trading at a forward price to earnings of 17.7. Now, there are a group of investors that highly regard valuation. It's an important metric in their decision making. In fact, in my framework, in my six-step framework for investing, where you know I wrote a book on it. If you read it, uh, you'll know. But if you don't, I have a link in the description below. Valuation is 40% of my decision-making criteria. So if this valuation were to increase because of more buyers coming in at lower prices, then I, I would be taken back by that. I would not want to own the stock anymore. If I was an owner, I don't own that research stock. So for those reasons, the offsetting factors work against each other. New buyers come in and that creates demand for the stock, which might lift the stock price temporarily, momentarily. And then at the same time, those investors that are concerned about this valuation metric, they'll begin to sell because the valuation is increasing. When a market price is increasing, without fundamentals to back it up, like profits or cash flow, then they tend to sell their shares. 
So right now, Land Research stock is trading at a forward price to earnings of 17.7. And looking at the metrics we looked at, I think it's an excellent value based on revenue growth and profit margin and the expectations of semiconductor demand, the expectations of how AI will boost its business. Those are the reasons why I like Lamb Research stock. And so if I was to let you know if it's a buy, hold, or a sell, I would say the stock is a buy. And I'm updating that recommendation on September 25th. But this isn't because of the stock split. It has nothing to do with the stock split. So whether or not you want to buy it before or after the split, I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters. If you want to own the stock, you should buy it now. You don't have to wait until after the stock stock split. If you can't afford it and you need to wait for the stock split, then that's just the position you're in. You need to wait for the stock split. But otherwise, if you can afford both sides and it doesn't change your investing equation, then it's a buy right now. You don't need to wait for the stock split. Hey everyone, if you like watching my videos, then I've added a great complimentary product just for you. I've created a book, I've written a book that's available for sale now that highlights my six step investing framework. Even if you don't follow that investing framework, just reading it and knowing how I evaluate stocks will make it a lot more interesting and informative to watch my videos. I've added the link in the description below.